eOrganic proudly presents its Organic Dairy video series. The information in the series is brought to you by University of Vermont Extension and eOrganic, with funding from the USDA Organic Agriculture Research and Extension Initiative. eOrganic is eExtension's organic agriculture community of practice, providing certified organic agriculture information to farmers, educators, certifiers, and other agricultural professionals throughout the United States. For more information, visit us at extension.org slash organic underscore production. My name is Sarah Flack, and I'm a grazing consultant, and I also do organic farm inspections. And today we're going to quickly run through how you can figure out how large your paddock needs to be to feed a herd of animals for a day. And then you can go on and do some stocking rate calculations and figure out how many total acres of pasture you need in order to provide the amount of dry matter from pasture to your animals that meets your farm goals. So let's use an example here. Let's assume that it is a herd of dairy cows and there are 50 in the herd. And this farmer's goal is to provide 30 pounds of dry matter per cow from the pasture per day. So this is a farm that's providing the majority of the dry matter from pasture. And they're supplementing just a little bit of grain in the barn. So the first thing we need to do is determine what the total dry matter requirement is of the herd for a whole day. So I'll use my calculator and I'll take the 50 animals times the 30 pounds and I come up with 1,500 pounds of dry matter per day. So that's the requirement of that whole 50 cow herd from pasture. The next thing is now that we've already used this grazing stick and we've gone around the pasture and measured how much available grazable dry matter is available in a whole acre. And we, we came up with the number 1,200 in our example that we did before. And so the next thing that we're going to do is divide the 1,200 into the 1,500. And so we get 1.25. That's an acre and a quarter is how much you need in order to provide the 1,500 pounds of dry matter. So that means for every 24 hours, if you're putting out 24-hour paddocks, that you're putting your animals in, each paddock would need to be an acre and a quarter in size so that each paddock is providing the 1,500 pounds of dry matter to the whole herd for that day. And you can go on later with those numbers once you know how long it's going to take each of your paddocks to grow back up to the full pre-grazing height, in this case of about eight or nine inches of height. You can figure out how many total acres that you'll need to graze the whole herd now that you know how much it'll take to feed them for 24 hours. So now that we know that the herd needs an acre and a quarter to feed them for 24 hours, let's figure out how many total acres that would be needed to feed that herd at different times of the year. So in the spring, when the grass is growing very rapidly here, it's going to take about 18 days for the pasture to grow back up to the correct pre-grazing height. In this case, the farmer's goal is to graze it when it's about 8 to 9 inches tall. So we take the 18 days and we multiply it times the acre and a quarter. And we know that that farmer needs to have 22 and a half acres in the spring to rotate through. That's giving the cows a fresh paddock every day that's an acre and a quarter in size. So now later in the summer, when the speed that these plants out here in the pasture are growing at slows down, you'll need to add more acres into the rotation so that when you bring the cows back to the paddock, it's always at the correct pre-grazing height. And this farmer's goal for the pre-grazing height is about eight to nine inches of grass and clover height when the cows come back into each paddock. So instead of taking 18 days for the plants to grow back, it's going to take more like 28 to 30 days in the middle part of the summer here. And on some farms, that will be significantly longer than that. So you need to use the numbers that are appropriate for your own area. But assuming that the farmer is putting them into this acre and a quarter paddock every day, and it's a 30-day regrowth period, we take the 1.25, we multiply it by 30, 
and the farmer now needs 37 and a half acres to rotate through to be able to provide the same amount of dry matter intake to the cows. So you can see the farm has gone from needing about 22 and a half acres to 37 and a half acres during the summer. And there may be times in the summer when the regrowth periods are even slower than that and you would need even more acres. But this is a way just to give you some ballpark numbers of how many acres you need at the different times of the year for this particular 50 cow herd.